Fort Worth police need the public's help to solve the murder of an innocent 18-year-old woman. Police released this blurry surveillance photo of two young men who may have some information about the murder of Haley Marie Watts. Watts was driving in an apartment complex last month when a stray bullet struck her, killing her. Fox Wars' Macy Jenkins spoke with the victim's mother and joins us now. Macy. Hi, Clarice. Well, Renee Dunn describes her daughter as a loving and compassionate person, a good girl, never in any trouble. She says that she spoke with her daughter just an hour before she died, telling her mother she was headed out with her boyfriend to sell an old PlayStation. I can't stop until we find whoever did it. You know what I mean? A mother pushing through her grief, determined to find the person Fort Worth police say shot and killed her 18-year-old daughter, Haley Marie Watts. You took a wonderful girl. You took um, a great, good-hearted, loving, big sister daughter of mine. Police got the call on April 20th around 6 p.m. from the park at LeBlanc apartment complex in southwest Fort Worth. Haley's mother, Renee Dunn, says her daughter was with her boyfriend, Alex, that evening, and the couple had plans to stop by the complex to sell their PlayStation 4. Dunn says when they arrived, Alex heard gunshots and told Haley to drive off quickly. But when she rounded the corner, she realized she'd been hit by a bullet. She was driving. It actually went through the passenger side where he was sitting, completely missed him and hit her. From what I know, it went through her arm, shattered it, and went into her lungs. She was pronounced dead on the scene. Very sad, very sad deal when you got a loss of life at such a young age. Police say the gunman escaped in a Hyundai Elantra, and the two teens who were the intended targets ran off before officers arrived. This week, police released a blurry surveillance photo of the two young men police think the shooter was actually trying to target. You cannot see their faces, but hopefully someone can recognize their distinctive clothing. Police believe they may have information about the shooter. That's exactly what the detectives want to figure out, what, what led to the shooting. And obviously, as a, what led to the shooting resulted in an 18-year-old female, an innocent female, they got shot. Dunn says her daughter had just moved out last summer, excited to start a life with her boyfriend. But one of her greatest joys was being a big sister to three-year-old Abigail and four-year-old Chelsea Ray. She loved her little sisters. But my four-year-old, she keeps asking for Haley, and she knows that Haley's in heaven with God. And, um, and, and that we'll see her again one day. It's still unclear whether or not the two teens intended to return gunfire towards the shooter. Now, police are asking anyone with any information about the two teens or the possible shooter to contact them. Clarice?